Hiya, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and today is my Skoden Readathon TBR. So all the books that I'm planning to read um, for the Skoden Readathon. And the Skoden Readathon, in case you don't guys don't know, is it's a month long readathon being hosted by the lovely Kim from Native Lady Book Warrior. Um, as it's Native Heritage Month this month, she's doing a readathon in order to celebrate and um, highlight works by Indigenous authors. So that's what we're doing. So um, she, her daughter has come up with a beautiful prompt board, which I'll obviously put on screen, and loads of other like artwork, um, like on Instagram, which I just I just love. It's just that it's just that it's just, just stunning. So um, but yeah, anyway, into the prompts, and I'll show, try and show you which books I'm picking for which prompts. Prompt number one is a book with queer slash two spirit representation. So for this, um, I've chosen Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorst. I believe this has got queer up in it that's what it says from, according to my research and this I think is like a fantasy historical fiction I think I know this is like a booktube darling quite a lot of people read this like a, a, like a couple of years ago I believe and this isn't pushing me outside my comfort zone because this is not a genre I would normally read from but I have read a graphic novel by Rebecca Rowan Horse um which I really enjoyed it was like a little I think it was like no it wasn't a graphic novel it was a comic I read by that she'd um done so yeah I'm excited to get to this. I don't really know anything about it, but I kind of want to go in not knowing that this, other than the fact that, like I said, it's fantasy. And look at the cover, it's gorgeous. Also, this could count for the Amal cover as well because it's got blue, black, and yellow on the cover. Prompt number two is an Amal book cover, which has the colors red, yellow, or black. Um, quite a few of these books actually have these on, so quite a lot of my choices could be picked for this if I don't actually get to them. But this is the one I'm planning on reading for prompt number two. The Fire Keeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. This is another one that has been talked about, like, I think it was like last year or the year before. Um, I think this is sort of set in contemporary times. And in this, an 18 year old girl, I think, witnesses a murder. And I think it's it's quite a dark story. I, I think it's, at the, I mean, this cover is just so gorgeous. This was a shortlisted for the old Waterstones Older Readers list as well. So yeah, I'm excited to get to this. This probably will be like one of the earlier ones I read. It's so difficult to pick, but yeah, because there's so many good books. But yeah, that's that one. Prompt number three is Beyond the Lower 48. So I picked First Nations author, which is Melissa Lashenko, and she wrote Too Much Lip. This was obviously the winner of the Mars Franklin Award in 2019. I have wanted to get to this for quite a while, actually. Um, I had, did only order it recently. I pu purchased it recently, but this has been on like my sort of wish list for a while. So I know um, Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me really loved this book. So in this book, we follow the ca main character called Kerry, and she's trying to avoid, um, like she's been in some trouble, I think, and she's heading on a journey south to her, see her dying father on a motorbike. So yeah, and again, this has got like the red and the black on it, so it could count for the ML cover, but yeah. I'm excited to read this. I'm so excited to read this. Prompt number four is short story versus poetry. So I've got uh, I've got quite a few options for this and I'm not 100% set on exactly what I'm going to do but worst comes to worst I've got a poet um, I've got a re I can reread um, An American Sunrise by Joy Harjo and um, which is a poetry collection that I listened to at the beginning of the year. There's quite a few other poetry collections that are on my wish list that I want to get to so we'll see we'll see. Prompt number five is a seven day challenge. I think for this what I'm planning on doing I'm going to I'm going to start the readathon with this so um, I'm planning on doing the first seven days and just dedicating the whole seven days solely to um, works by Indigenous authors. So that's my plan. So um, from the first to the seventh, that's what I'm aiming to do. Now, uh, prompt number six is unread Indigenous author. Um, so for this, I've got There There by Tommy Orrin. This is set at the Big Oakland's powwow. Set of characters arrive at this and bat then bad stuff happens. This is like a book, another booktube darling. And I know this is Bear from T T Brody loves this book. And I think it's one of their favorite books. So yeah, I can't wait to get to this one. As with all of these, um, obviously. So for prompt number seven is middle grade or a children's book. So for this, I've got a short, gone for a short story collection, which again, I could use for prompt number four, um, which is called um, Ancestor Approved. And I think this has got like a really good collection of different indigenous authors. So yeah, I'm very excited to get to that. Prompt number eight, there's another one outside my comfort zone, which is SGJ Rendon or Wyden, read of a horror, mystery or thriller book. 
which is another like again it's outside my comfort zone a bit because I don't really read horrors and I definitely don't read thrillers very often even though I do quite like a uh, mystery so the book for the book I have chosen for this is The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones this is another booktube darling loads of people have read it and I feel like I'm like one of the few people that has it and um recently Stuart from the library is open um talked about it in their latest video and they've completely sold it to me so yeah 100% want to get to this I know it'll be creepy I know it will be like it'll probably push my boundaries a bit but I'm excited to get to it um so prompt number seven is a non-fiction um which so I, for this again I've got quite a few options that I've been I'm interested in reading um, but the main one, the first one I want to try and get to is um, by El Mind Spread Out on the Ground by Alicia Elliott, which, which again has been on my wish list for quite a while, so I can't wait to read this one. There's also a bonus prompt, which is to read a graphic, a graphic novel or a comic, and I haven't chosen anything for this yet. There's quite a few different ones I want, again, I want to get to, but I ha I'll, I'm going to see how I feel once I've read the books that everything so because I don't want to try and overcommit myself but yeah thank you Kim for hosting the um readathon let me know ev ev um let me know if uh, any of you guys are joining in um, and what uh, books you're reading um and for which prompts and yeah take care and sending you guys lots of love goodbye